Maggie, where are you? You want to come up here? Hi. Sure. Come do join Dr. Sears yeah, over there because right we got some props that may have something to do with the question you guys. So what's your question? So um, my question concern is um, I have a three-month-old baby and a quick trip to the grocery store. Uh, my daughter decides she wants to take a poo on aisle nine. Uh, <laughs> it's a problem. It's a problem, right? And so, I mean, what do I do with the awkwardness? Do I change her in aisle nine, take her to the bathroom, or wait until we get home? And, you know, what kind of things can I do to prepare myself? What should I be putting in my diaper bag? What oh, kind okay. of tips can you guys oh. give me? First off, yeah, you should change them. You never want to let a young baby sit in a dirty diaper like that because the skin will get really irritated really quickly. So, yeah, you do want to change. So here's a couple of great things. Here's your typical diaper bag. First off, a nice changing pad because, you know, if you're going to do it in aisle nine or even in a public <laughs> bathroom, let me uh, put this up front here. You want a nice sanitary area for the baby. So, you know, right like that, it's got a little cover. That's cool. Yeah. So nice. if it's concerned, mm -hmm. you can toss or that. Or the plane, for that matter. Right, yeah. you, you have the airplane. I've seen babies get changed on the tray tables, yeah. believe Much it or better. not. Oh. So, ooh, that's, ooh, okay. Um, <laughs> maybe a nice blanket to, to, if you don't have something like this, you can lay the blankets down. Um, you know, of course, you can have your bottles, some extra food here and there. You want plenty of diapers, okay? Because no matter how many you take, you're always going to need one more. So just pack a whole bunch in there. I got used to just keeping almost a whole pack of diapers in the car because you're always running out to get more. You can so use you that for diapers. toilet paper, too. Yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good. And then uh, here's one great thing a lot of parents don't think about is suppose you change the diaper and, and it's this big smelly thing. And what if there's no place to throw it away? and you've got to hold on to this thing for a while, it's nice to have some sort of waterproof bag, whether it's a, a, a zipper closed bag or a big trash bag like this, you put it in there, wrap it up, that way you can keep it Great with idea. you until yeah. you uh, find it. Yeah, don't leave it, it so, it's not, <laughs> so it's not what happens in aisle nine stays in right, aisle yeah, nine. You don't, you don't want that. You know, and a couple other things moms will carry is uh, something like this, which is a great, if you're gonna stop at a restaurant, um, uh, and, you know, the, the child's going to sit in uh, one of those um, uh, high chairs. You know, you don't know how clean they are. You can get a big cover like this, mm -hmm. and this kind of sits down into the, oh, wow. the, uh, nice. the high chair, and it keeps the baby nice and clean and everything. One last thing, suppose you're out and it starts to rain or it's a sunny day and you don't, you, the baby wants to sleep in the stroller, but they're, they're not protected. Some sort of covering like this is great. A sunshade oh, yeah, for, yeah. The, for the stroller. It's nice and breathable, so they get plenty of air and oxygen, but it shades them from the sun and the elements. It's a great thing to have. Perfect, And yeah. uh, one last thing is, guess what? All this stuff is going to go home with you. Oh, wow. Thank nice. you. Yeah.